welcome back for another video. In the expert series, we've got hundreds of top managers participating. And every week we ask them their transfer plans, captaincy, chip active if any, and of course the experts team. Between them, they've finished in the top 100 in the world five times, 55 top 1k finishes, and 344 top 10k finishes. Let's get into it. There's a new manager top of the experts league. Gregorius, or FPL Hobbit as he goes by, scored 97 points last game week, which was a green arrow to 4.2k overall. He's finished top 70k in his last five seasons in a row, and three of those top 10k finishes, really impressive. Tom Ashdown and Doc Amar were the top scorers in the experts league, they both scored 103 points each last game week. This week, 25% are rolling the transfer, 56% spending one transfer, and 19% are making two moves. With some players returning from the international break flagged, it's forced a lot of managers' hands. Bowen's the notable one. Mitoma's also flagged, but he has been seen in training, so he could stand a chance of playing. Let's dig into their top transfers in and out this week. In Bumo's the top transfer in, with 30% of the experts having transferred him in. He is the standout replacement for Mitoma and Bowen, at around the same price point. And this season, only Haaland and Salah have got a higher expected goal involvement, and they're a significantly higher price tag. It's an awkward fixture against Arsenal though, and it's a move that a lot of us have had to bring forward a week. As from game week 14, he's got a great run of fixtures, starting with Luton home, all the way up to the blank in game week 18. 16% have opted for Eze instead, or they already own in Bumo. Palace are away to Luton, who's only 6.1 mil. Came across a great chart here from FPR under the radar, which plots the midfielders and forwards. Along the bottom, we've got their minutes per appearance, and on the left, we've got their non penalty expected goal involvement per 90. The players in the top right box are the ones that are getting good minutes and registering excellent underlying numbers. So we've got Haaland, Salah, Watkins and Mbumo. Mbumo's played 90 in every game which is exactly what you want in an FPL asset, plus he's got the set piece and penalty duties. Though notice just barely in the bottom right square Eze's there, with great minutes every time he plays and he's still putting up decent underlying numbers. We love a penalty taker because even when they do have a quiet game, all it takes is for someone to win a penalty and that's 5 points for a mid scoring plus potential bonus points. Madison also appears in that top right quadrant, so a big question many of us are asking is how Spurs will fare without him, particularly Son, who's in 4.1 million of our teams. If we compare Mbumo with Eze in more detail, this chart's from FPL Radar, they're both excelling. Mbumo's better for XG and XA, touches into the box and passes into the box, but Eze's got a bit better clean sheet potential and shots taken. So Mbumo the winner overall, but let's bear in mind there's about 1.7 mil difference in price between the two. Eze's got the better fixture this week, but in three game weeks his fixtures turn, so he could be a shorter term pick, and then you might want to swap him out for Palmer. Speaking of penalty takers though, Palmer's been transferred in by 13% this week, Saliba 9% and 8 Nori 6%. 8 Nori's an interesting one, massive differential. This season he's been playing out of position in left mid, and he's got an attack in return in here, which O'Neill recognises. Just note he is one yellow card away from suspension though, he's got Fulham away this week. 3% are transferring Archer in, and just below 1% bringing Wood in. In case you missed it, one is going to require groin surgery, so he's going to be sidelined for 3 to 4 months. So we've suddenly got a 4.9 mil forward in Wood, who's pretty much nailed, and he should have much better output than Archer, playing for a better team and only 4.9 mil. There's perhaps a chance that Rigi gets the game, he's yet to play this season, maybe a Langer in striker as well, but Wood's minutes are going to look very good for the long term future. So if you need a budget striker, he's got to be the best in the game at the moment. He's got Bournemouth home in blank gaming 18 as well, which is ideal when Haaland and Mbumo don't play. So 25% are selling Mitoma and 25% are selling Bowen. The press conferences are going to be crucial on what to do with these two. Even if Mitoma is available, there's no guarantee any starts. It could be a Dinger left wing and Bonanotte right wing. So it's not a terrible move if you want to bring forward selling him. Lastly, one more table to share here, and this one's brilliant from Sertar Billow and FPL Chase. What they've essentially done here is they've averaged out the projected points across all players, across all sources, and they've looked at which players have got the biggest gains in their projections over the next six game weeks. This is a great way to identify players that are hitting form and might be on the up. At the very top is Isaac, who's a name we've barely seen mentioned anywhere. We know that Wilson could be out for a while with a hamstring injury, so he should be nailed for the time being. Simicast also on the up. Not a game week you're going to want to play him against City, but great fixtures after game week 13. The question is, does he play all games, or does Gomez get a game in left back? Chelsea have shown a lot of improvement after their slow start earlier in the season. Palmer, James and Dezassi are also on the up, and we know they've got great fixtures in a few weeks. Even game week 14, home to Brighton, is a good game though. Moving on to captaincy for game week 13, and here's what the experts are doing. 
This week, 70% are on Captain Haaland. Son's in second with 24%, Salah third of 6%, and one manager's Captain in Saka. If you're on Captain Salah or Haaland, then at least you'll know a few hours after the deadline if that was a good decision. Certainly historically, when these two play, it's been a high scoring fixture. Just two clean sheets kept in the last 10 meetings, with an average of 3.6 goals per game. This is a great graphic from Rob TFPL with the expected goals for every game week 13 fixture. So Man City have projected the most goals of all teams here of 2.1. Their goals can be spread around with so many elite attackers at Man City. Whereas with Spurs, 1.7 goals just slightly behind, but Sun standing a much better chance of being involved in the goals. Villa's high line is tailor made for Sun if he can time his runs in behind. Let us know in the comments who your captain is. FBO Review's projections has Sun top this week, but it's worth noting that Harness projection is going to be dampened by his flag, and his minutes perhaps a bit lower than they should be here of 82. He has been spotted in training, so he'll be fine. Solanke's second on the projections this week, by the way. He was another player on that earlier chart as a player on the rise. Bournemouth faced Sheffield United Saturday afternoon. He did rise last night to 6.5 mil, but not too late for a piece of the action. So moving on to the experts team. If you found this video helpful so far, hit like to show support and subscribe if you're not ready. Something I always forget to mention in videos is that you can also become a channel member using the join button below with some perks like a badge by your name in the comments and streams, access to the members channel on discord, the members league and early access to videos. It's a cheap way to support me further if you want to. Let's get into the experts team then and here's how it looks for gaming 13. Ariola in goal, in defence Gwei, Cash and Gabriel. The midfield is Salah, Sun Vice Captain, Mbumo, Saka and Gordon, and up top Harlan Captain and Watkins. On the bench it's Turner, Taylor, Archer and Simicass. If you're in a pinch this week, Archer's perfectly fine to play for the Bournemouth fixture. Sheffield United have got a win and a draw from their last two games. McBurney is back from injury, though may not be fit enough to start, and he can start alongside Archer anyway. Cash is comfortably the most owned defender at 88%, but we're expecting him to leave the team fast. After this week, he's got Bournemouth, which is fine, but then he's got Man City and Arsenal, so Gemic 15 is an obvious sell. Saliba is someone we might see join the team in the near future. And Bumo joins the team this week, replacing Bowen. Salah's 93% owned among the experts, Haaland 91%. Interestingly, Trippi has got the biggest negative difference when we compare the experts' ownership to overall ownership. 27% of the experts have got him, but 50% of the overall player base. The current number one in the world hasn't owned Trippi all season, or Watkins, amazingly. As always, we asked the experts for their tips and insight for the game week. Here's what they had to say. FB Hogmeister says, This week's transfers all depend on Bowen fitness, so we'll be waiting for the presses before making a move. Another week where information is more important than trying to beat price movements. TomTom Tom says, Most important time of the season for expected minutes. Alvaro is still a good pick, but moving him on for Watkins makes a lot of sense going into the Christmas fixture pileup. Benches will come into play soon, so maybe look at upgrade and the 4.5 mil striker follow imminently. FPL Prem Tipster says, For those of us that don't own Salah, I think next game is the ideal time to bring him in because he faces Fulham home and then Sheffield United away. He puts in a strong case for captaincy in both fixtures. If you only have one free transfer, Gamic 13 is an opportunity to roll it if you can. If you have two free transfers, then you could use one on banking more cash for your double transfer next game week. Seven says, Game week 12 was a disaster, two poor transfers and a captaincy gamble that cost me a combined 26 points in about 350,000 places. My response, don't panic, watch Game week 13 and make some good decisions with two free transfers going into Game week 14. Thorfinn says, here we go, no more international breaks until the end of March. FPL Cholo says, feels like the opening ceremony of the Olympics of all these flags. Thanks very much for watching. We'll be live for the deadline Saturday morning. See you then.